Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube GTEC. Here I have a very useful video for those people who involve themselves with electronics. So it's for electronic professionals, it's for electronic hobbyists, it for, it's for all the students of electronics who involve themselves with uh, designing circuits, so practicals, so which involves a lot of soldering. So today I am going to review the flux that is used while uh, soldering components to PCBs or so soldering components or soldering wires to sockets etc. So to execute a good solder, to, to, to do soldering first of all you require first of all a soldering station and then you require two more things as ingredients. So the first one is called as a soldering wire or set in. So the second one is uh, called as soldering paste or flux. So using a soldering iron, tin is melted and then it is mixed with flux and then you solder it uh, you, you, you uh, use it to solder the wires or say components to PCBs or whatever. So one very important component of soldering is flux. So if you don't use proper flux, you might end up with low quality solder. So which might misbehave or it, that is say the circuit may not work properly. So you might not get a clean solder. So you, will not, you might not get a shiny solder. So a lot of things. So which is a very good flux? Which is a proper flux available in the market? So I myself, from the time I have been uh, soldering long, long back, when I was a student, when I was a high school student, I started soldering. So from that time, I have used uh, flux from a lot of companies and I have never been satisfied. So I have problem with every sort of flux that I have used, some problem or the other, not happy at all. So I always think that a good quality flux is one which can solder a wire or a component on a, on a nickel strip which usually is very very smooth and it is very difficult to solder or say take a uh, battery battery cell it, it, it is not supposed to be done I'm just giving an example uh, where the terminals are very smooth so if you try to solder it's very difficult it's it, it, it comes off so a good soldering flux is one which can even solder on such a smooth surface. So which one is that? Say I've used, as you can see here on my table, I have flux from lot of companies here. Lot of companies. But only recently I was able to uh, find a flux that uh, actually satisfies all the um, aspects that you require for a good soldering. So, as you can see here, this is the one. So, name of the company is Goot. Believe me, there is no other flux in the market that can match this. I have tried uh, these fluxes, I have even tried the uh, liquid flux. So um, I was not happy with any of this, any of uh, those. And uh, this is something which I purchased a year back or so. I started using this a year back or so. It's available on Amazon. So it, it, it works flawlessly. Solders are superb. It can solder on any surface. 
So a fantastic product. So just to showcase this product, I made this video. I'm I'm not uh, what do you call advertising for this company or anything. So the product is good. One more product actually related to soldering actually was very uh, interested me very much. Is this uh, um, soldering tip cleaner? Okay. So this is from a company by name Solderon. A very very useful product. I, I just uh, took a risk and uh, purchased this. So to use this what you need to do is you just need to open the lid and then when the tip of the soldering iron gets dirty you just, you just need to dip it once and take it out. So it uh, cleans the tip uh, as good as new. So a fantastic product from uh, a company by name Solderon. So I purchased two of them. So one of them I've been using. So works superb. So I I hope this is a useful video for all those electronic uh, love electronics lovers. Thank you. Good luck.